there are some extremely important trade partnerships that we have with traditional trade partners such as the European Union. And um, for many African countries, the EU still remains as the most important trade partner. I think what we do see, though, is that most of our trade with external partners tends to be in commodities that are not processed. And this then brings us to the challenges of moving up the value chain, adding value domestically, and promoting industrial development very broadly. And industrial development really has to focus on from agriculture through to core manufacturing and must also include the services sectors because after all infrastructure services and many others are direct inputs into all economic activity so they are absolutely essential to improve our competitiveness. So the bottom line really is that when we take a look at how much we can benefit from trade agreements we come back to what is perhaps the fundamental challenge and that is producing goods and services competitively. So a lot of issues, discussions about infrastructure development, regulatory reform, education, building capacity, all of that has to be part of Africa's industrialization agenda to boost our capacity to trade competitively with external partners. But very important as far as trade is concerned, of course, we have our own trade agenda and we are concluding trade agreements amongst ourselves, most notably and most recently, the Continental Free Trade Agreement. And I wanna, I wanna talk to you about that, uh, what we're doing amongst ourselves, but before we get there, a number of African countries are trying to, or have tried to improve, um, you know, what they get out of trade deals with uh, multinational companies, the Western companies. I mean, we've seen uh, Tanzania ramp up its mining laws. We've seen uh, the DRC also ask for increased localization and local input and even here in South Africa what we've also seen is a sort of backlash from multinationals who have been used to doing things uh, the way that they've currently been doing I mean when I speak about beneficiation I'm talking about you know taking our resources uh, processing them in cheaper countries and then having African countries import them back at a premium how do countries uh, navigate that space in terms of trying to get uh, more done locally but at terms that are favorable for our partners that we've been doing business with for all these years? I think this is a critical question when it comes to expanding our industrial base, deepening the industrial capacity that we have. I think unfortunately many African countries have become used to providing incentives that multinationals very often call upon us simply to provide tax holidays and a range of other incentives. And essentially we are complicit in creating incentive dependence in rather, rather than stating our terms up front to say, we would like you to come and invest here, but we would like to take a look at how you're going to develop suppliers, local suppliers for example, or contribute to capacity development, transfer of technology and so on. So I think up front the narrative with our multinationals and other investors who are coming from outside our countries has to change. We have to put on the table what we would like to achieve in terms of our own industrial development, deepening capacity across the board. Because industrial development is an economy-wide phenomenon. It's not only about core manufacturing. And investors have to understand that we need to build capacity across the board. So bringing them on board into our policy space and a discussion about how we would like to see them contribute is really, really important, rather than upfront offering a range of incentives. And we've got to keep in mind that many of those incentives are in fact crippling our tax base, tax holidays, we are really taking money out of the fiscus to assist those foreign investors. We should not be doing that. For sure, and of course, many African governments could need that money to address uh, other areas, uh, health, uh, we've got education, and, and, and all others. How can increasing intra-Africa trade perhaps uh, work towards uh, uh, us not losing as much money as we have been through tax holidays and other incentives? Well, I think let's look at this from South Africa's perspective and the increasing importance of the African market for our exports. And this is well recognized. Our Minister of Trade very recently emphasized the importance of the African market. The African market is growing, incomes are rising, there is uptake opportunity, consumers demand product diversity and better, better quality products.